Ah. Well, I mean, as with life, you know, you suddenly spawn in front of a supermarket and now you own the place and run the place. No questions asked. All right. What are goods? D do I have money? One would think that after purchasing a market, after purchasing property, that I would have money. But it doesn't seem like I have money. Oh, right. We live, we live in corporate America. We have to take out a loan. I can't afford this. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just take the default loan. 750. I, I can't pay this off, but yeah, sure. I have a loan. You know, we go for the essentials, right? I, I sure don't have very much stuff. Uh, unit price, a dollar? We'll, we'll take that. Add to cart. Uh... Flour? Everybody loves using flour. We'll take that. 79 cents? Sure. Pasta. Pasta's great. Can't can't have pasta without oil? I, I don't think that's how that works. Sugar powdered. It's no longer powdered sugar. We now have sugar, but it's powdered. All to each their own, I guess. Uh, we'll just order one of everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna lose a lot of money. <laughs> You know, when you're when you're a grown adult and you start you start out your life, you start out your brand new life at your somehow purchased supermarket with no business plan. We'll we'll find a way. We'll we'll make it work. Uh, nobody really knows what they're doing as an adult, so. <laughs> okay, okay. What do you want? Enterprise market price five ninety eight for a box of cereal. How do, how do I compete against these prices? S $7 cereal for, for choco, choco pick, cho chalky, cho uh, st strong chocolate, yes. $5 for a bag of sugar? Oh, what a rough world we live in. I blame inflation. $5 for that small bottle of oil? You could go to the Asian market and buy a gallon of oil for cheaper. You know, this should be an Asian supermarket. It should be. <laughs> Pasta, $3? Eh, that's reasonable enough. Three, uh, four, uh, four. Flat four. Uh, bread. For four dollar bread? Aw, oh, man. In this economy? Uh, you'll be seeing me eating peanut butter sandwiches every morning. Uh, four dollars for flour. You can make a lot of stuff with flour. I'll make that cheaper. Maybe it'll fly off the shelves that way. All right, the Woo Mart is open. I wish I could- Oh, hi. Wow, that was fa- I just opened up, ma'am. What did I tell you guys? The flower is gonna be flying off the shelves. Hello, hello. How was your how was your shopping experience? Oh. Well, here's your change. Uh, how do I how do I ring you up? How uh uh how, how do I? Oh, a space to approve. My bad. H have a nice day. See you again. At, oh wow, you you phased right through her. Take a look at our at our goods. Our wa why are there so many customers? This is incredible. Nine dollar. Ooh, credit card. Uh, I can use numpad, right? Ah, I can. Hello, sir. How how are you doing today? Uh, no, perfect, perfect. No change. Approve. Uh, hi. Hello. Yes. Sugar, sugar and oil. What what are you gonna use those for? <laughs> uh, four dollars. One, two, three, four. Have a nice day. Uh, hope to see you around again. God, public service jobs are hard. Ah, yes. Hello, ma'am. Uh, well, welcome to the welcome to Walmart. Uh, uh, you sure you don't want to get anything else? Just oil? Man, my oil prices must be great. Five dollars equal. B bye bye. D see you around. I I guess. Oh, oh God. No. Oh. Uh, uh, yes. Sugar, sugar and oil. I, I really need more. I, I, I need more inventory. This is a combination of stuff people are buying things in. I, I can only imagine. Uh. To be fair, in this economy, I can't, I can't imagine having to spend... Whoa, 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 whoa. Take my money back. You don't need change. Uh, uh, thank you! Uh, sorry, first day on the job. First day on the job, my bad. You're wearing a tuxedo and you can only afford pasta. I'm not gonna question it. Yeah, mm, yeah, yeah. Ha have a nice day, see you around, buddy. Ah, dear God. All the customers are flying in. Why is today so busy? It's my first day on the job! 
Uh, yeah, cash, cash, a dollar. Uh, and thank you for shopping or purchasing uh, money spending. Yeah, uh, yeah, man. Maybe I should get one of those licenses. Hmm. Bottled water, cheese, coffee, eggs, milk, tea, black. Don't I need a refrigerator for some of these things? Ah, uh, oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm the only one managing this place. I gotta do everything around here. Is I, I, I need, I need employees. I have a lot of questions for my customers. Why, why are all they, why, why are they all dressed up so nice and dapper, and, and they can only afford sugar for how, how much? Six dollars. It was six dollar sugar. I have a lot of questions. Thank, thank you for shopping. I, oh, what the? See, you can hand me $50 and you want $41 left in change, but we have so much inventory on the shelves. <sighs> the customer's always right. The customer's always right. The customer's always right. Ah, see, see, you, you with the nice khaki, khaki vest, I, this is where it's at, right? $22 worth of groceries, handing me your MasterCard. I like that. Hope to see you around again, maybe. I'm not very confident at my job. Ah, hello, hello, hello. Uh, d oh, God. Oh, they ignored me. Oh, oh, uh, d flower? Yes, thank you. Four dollars? See you next time. Uh, sugar? Uh, d eight dollars. Uh, goodbye. Bye-bye. Uh, bye Oh, it's getting dark. I wonder how long I've been working here. How long has it been? Thank you for shopping. Do I... Do I have to pay an electrical bill if I turn on the lights? See you... See you next time. <sighs> Is my shift over yet? <laughs> Ah, late night customer. Yeah, ah, uh, yeah. Hmm. Hello. Uh, God. I'm, not, I'm not sleeping on the job. I'm still here. Ah, bread. Uh, I wonder what you could be buying bread for in this evening. Uh, goodbye. I'm out of. I I told you. I called it. The flower would fly off the shelves first. Uh, uh, uh sorry. I'm. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just talking to myself. Um. Uh. Do you have your cereal with the oil, or are these two separate purchases? The customer is always right. The customer is always right. Bye bye, have a good night. Is it time to close? Okay, we're closed. By day one, successful. Yeah. Look at that, $120 profit. This is gonna take us forever to get anywhere. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Daily expenses. You'll receive daily bills starting today. I have to pay with bills too? <sighs> I want to go back to school. Being an adult is too hard. I, I don't think I want to go back to school. Alright, let's see here. I can buy storage for $800. Oh, store level. Th I can't even purchase these things yet. We're just gonna have to get through the... We're gonna have to get through the... You know, we'll just do the same thing, right? We just buy one of everything. Technically, if I made $120 in profit and then I spend $95, I really only profited like $25. We're gonna have to increase these margins. <laughs> can I change this? I really want to change this. It looks like it's changeable. I can jump in this game? Also, I hope the UPS worker who sent me my groceries gets a raise. Awfully well stacked. See, sugar flew off the shelves. Maybe I should buy extra sugar. Sugar and flour. We give them the essentials. The essentials will be expensive. See, I'm feeling generous. We buy extra flour and extra sugar. So then I really only made like, uh, I don't know, like a $3 profit. <laughs> We're gonna have sugar. We're gonna have the powdered stuff on one shelf. And then we'll have like the carbs. All of the carbs on the other shelf. All right, nobody liked my my cereal prices. We're gonna drop you to six fifty. Uh, sugar and flour were flying off the shelves. We're going up six fifty. Maybe we can earn an extra fifty cents because these are the essentials. Maybe maybe oil's fine. No, we got to be competitive about the oil prices. We're gonna make it four sixty. Four sixty a bottle. 
You know what? Here we go. All right, we're open, open for business. For 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 the for the biz, we're we're open for biz. As I'm frantically recontemplating my prices before customers come, because man, retail. <laughs> Five dollars for flour. Five dollar flour. Ah, hello, hello, sir. Bread is too expensive? You know... I blame the government, man. I'm just trying to make a living. Hey, man, how's it going? Good to see you. Five dollar flour, 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 flour... You have... Excuse me. You have a one hundred dollar bill. And you're only buying... One bag of flour. <laughs> All right, you know, customer's always right. Oh, that is not what I want. Uh, hello. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it? Thank you. Ah, you, you buying flour? See, this is more reasonable. This is, this is, this makes sense. I give you dollar, you take dollar. As uh, see you, see you, see you. My pasta's too expensive. You're wearing a tuxedo, my friend. Cost is too expensive, but you can afford. Wait, that's not true. Isn't the pot? My pasta is cheaper than the flour. You're gonna stand there. Four dollars for pasta is too expensive, but you can buy a bag of flour for five dollars. <sighs> the customer's always right. The customer's always right. The customer's always right. The customer's always right. Customer's always right. See you around, buddy. Don't mind me. I uh, It's a tough world out there. Stay safe. Stay uh, stay sharp. Uh, oh god. Uh, hi, hello, hello, hello. Uh, I, sugar powdered is too. Ma'am. Ma'am. Six forty-five. Okay. My bottom dollar. You want a bargain? We bargain. But I bargain like an Asian, so... I still need to make a profit here, guys. Okay, if the powdered sugar is too expensive, can I- can I give you free gift? Can- maybe there's something under the counter here that I can give as a free gift. Can I- is there anything in these shelves? Do people want free gifts? Alright, we're gonna- we're gonna have to re-strategize here for a second. Uh, 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 625, 625 for flour, uh... Flour, our flour has been fine. Maybe, maybe bread. We go, we go 455, 4, 475 for bread. Ma'am, I was in the middle of changing prices. Hey, come back. We can bargain. <laughs> I'm desperate. There you go. Here's your change. Uh, I'll see you next time. Uh, yeah. Or just a product license. Uh, g give me a second. I'm running. I'm running an establishment here. I, uh, I gotta do everything around here. Red, 475. 47. 475. Thank you. Thank you. See you around. Happy to be here. Always here. I spent all my money on this store. I'll be here. Hello. Thank you for purchasing, pur pur purchasing, purchasing the essentials. Thank you for purchasing the essentials. Uh, have a good evening. Get some rest while you're at it. Uh, yeah. Uh. Weren't you just here? Maybe you forgot something. Maybe maybe you forgot something. That's, that's okay. Uh, I'll see you around. I'll... I'll see you around. Yeah. Oh, man. We lost so much money today. Oh, no. Oh, oh. We're never gonna go positive. We're... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I regret purchasing this piece of land. Oh, man. Maybe we do display fridge instead of the single fridge. They're the same price. You can choose a color. Oh, but the color is more expensive. <laughs> we buy the display fridge double. Okay. And then I think there were a lot. Of, what, what do we need to restock on? Uh, Pasta. Flour and sugar surprisingly didn't sell out today. Maybe we just buy pasta and then we buy some of the fridge stuff. Stuff related to fridge. Pasta. Bottled water. 
Everybody needs water. Eggs. Eggs and milk. Maybe coffee and- oh, coffee and tea are kind of expensive though. We go with the essentials first. We gotta start somewhere. Because we still have that loan to pay off. Also, where- where do I get my fridge? Something about this doesn't look quite right. Is this the refrigerator? How in the world? Excuse me, sir. I'm having an existential crisis here. How was the refrigerator stacked on top of all of these boxes and didn't crush any of my inventory? Man, if it's the FedEx, UPS, the, the, the USPS worker who is like dropping all of these things off, you are amazing. Amazing. And somehow I just have a fridge out of a box. Okay. Uh, we, we might have to do some repositioning in this shop, maybe. Uh, what if? What, what if? We gotta streamline this a little bit more. Right? We, we, we gotta be in the grind set. So if I'm not checking people out, I can go onto the computer here. Okay, and then we're gonna... We're gonna take this... This, uh... We're gonna put the fridge right next to... Um next to the checkout station so that when they when they go check out the stuff or, or when they go check out right they don't need to have their hands constantly holding on to the uh onto the frozen stuff all right so we're gonna we're gonna put the cheese on the bottom shelf because nobody really needs cheese we're gonna put the we're gonna put the eggs and milk at the top because you know every everybody needs that stuff right uh yeah e eggs and milk eggs and milk and bottled water. Right, pricing, pricing, pricing. Bottled water, $2 a bottle because we can't be cheap here, but it's, oh, it's cheaper than market, but two fifty, two fifty for bottled water. A, a gallon of milk, that's not even a gallon, but a carton of milk, uh, the, the, five dollars, five dollars for a carton of milk. Uh, eggs, uh, five, five dollar eggs because we only have the freshest. think my prices are okay maybe we go back to six dollar sugar and five dollar uh, maybe we go 450 on the flour here uh five 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 fifty on the on the sugar why is everyone so stingy on price inflation we're open for business customers Ah, potential customer. Hello. Good morning. Good, good ma'am. Good, mo good ma'am. Mo morning. Uh, are you are you in need of groceries? Yes, yes. Please enter the establishment. Uh, who left trash outside of my establishment? Oh wow, that was really quickly. I'll be right with you. Uh, only, only, only bread. Yeah, I guess. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come one, come all to the to the Woo Mart, the Super Woo Mart. Great price. We have things. We we have. Thank you. Ah yes, we have things. If I keep screaming this outside of my store, people will come and buy things. Oh, I got that. Uh, the, the eight dollar pasta. Yes, thank you. Thank you for your patronage. Eleven fifty for for the good lady and the nice top. Uh. <sighs> Bye bye, everything. Wow. Just sugar? All right. Uh, uh, you know, I I can't question it. I I won't. I ha I can't. I'm I buy more. I'm at I'm at it. I'm 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 in the negatives. Buy more. Hello. Uh, food. Groceries. Oh, wait, someone snuck behind me. Wow, what a ninja. O only buying the best. Thank you for your... Thank you. Hi, how are you? Uh, uh, yeah, mm, uh, bye. I mean, th thank you. Hello, uh, two cartons uh, uh, for, yes, $10. <laughs> Sir? I, I see you and your accomplices from the Men in Black are here. I, I can assure you, there are no aliens or extraterrestrials at this establishment. We, th there should be no trouble here. 
Except your third accomplice does not want to afford my cheese. Can you... I think he's more of an alien than I am, so I, I don't see the problem here. We're just gonna check you out. Alright, 550, thank you. Another 550, thank you. Why is everything so expensive? I have to purchase this inventory. I have to make a profit. Then again, I do complain when I buy groceries, so I... I, <laughs> I understand where they're all coming from. <laughs> you look great today, sir. You have yourself a wonderful evening. I was about to say splendid and wonderful, and it would have turned into splunderful. <laughs> I, I don't I don't think I'm cut out for this kind of work. I, I should have reconsidered my life to Ah, yeah. Uh, what? Did you find everything okay today, That's, sir? Sir? Thank you. Welcome back. Take the last flower off the shelf. Couldn't find fl You literally just purchased flour. What do you mean you can't find it? You took the last one, my friend. All right, time to finish the day, I guess. Oh, we're still going in the negatives. Oh man, we're not earning much money here. Oh no. What a nightmare. What a disaster. We gotta come up with a different strategy. It's not working. This isn't working. We need, we need to get people in the store. We need to get them excited to buy their groceries. I could probably pay off this loan. Or pay off part of it. I paid off all of it. I thought I could pay some. Um. <laughs> well, to be fair, we did make some profit, so I'm not really net negative. I'm just very poor. Oh, repayment. Oh, I could have. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't plan this accordingly. I might have to enroll for another loan to pay off my loan. Is this how loans work? Oh god. Um, maybe we go for a 10 day loan? We're gonna pay off some of the repayment here. I, I didn't really think this one through if I'm- if I'm gonna be honest. We need to keep the people here. We need to- we need to bring them in and we gotta keep them here. So, what I'm thinking is, what if we put all of our products on the- on the far wall back here? Right? They have to walk all the way into the store to get their products, so they have to... They have to be here, right? They can't just like look at the thing and walk out the store, right? If you're at the store and you see what you need, even though it's too expensive, right? You've like already traveled to the far end of the store. Like you're already there. You, sh you might as well buy what you need because you're not about to walk out from the very back of my store. Walk out the store go to another store and then walk to the very back of that store to then buy the thing you need for like 20 cents cheaper. Surely, that's how that works. <sighs> to be fair, prices are very expensive, but I also need to make a profit. Okay, all the flour was gone. Maybe we can restock some sugar. Maybe we buy, we buy two boxes of flour, box of sugar. People wanted to see coffee and tea, maybe we'll buy a box of each one of those. I think my refrigerated goods are probably still okay. Purchase a new section using your computer to expand your store. How do I expand the store? Section 2, purchase- Oh, I guess this is what my second loan is going into. We now have- Oh, that's so good. Okay, so maybe maybe we move we move the checkout system to the back corner here, right? Because claustrophobia is a thing. Who needs claustro who who needs who needs counter space when you could just jump over the counter to then get to your station, right? And then uh I didn't think this one through. We have to put the register by the door, right? This is where they leave. This is where you know, you don't want to, like, walk through all the store before you leave the store. I don't know if that made any sense at all, but... I think the theory still applies here, right? We gotta get the people in the store before they can buy anything. Because they won't buy anything if they see the prices at the window. And they'll be like, oh no, his prices are too expensive. I don't want to buy anything here. But if we bring them to the back of the store... 
they're more likely to buy the thing because they're already here. I'm just gonna pretend I know what I'm talking about. We're probably gonna cut out like half of these things in the YouTube video, so... Uh, yeah. The important part, we have to reconsider our prices. Because otherwise nobody's gonna buy anything and I'm not gonna make a profit because everyone's gonna be really upset about my prices. And if everyone's upset about my prices, nobody's gonna buy anything. And if nobody buys anything, I can't make a profit. If I don't make a profit, I can't pay off my rent, I can't pay off my loans, I can't do anything. Oh, no, no. I think flour prices were fine. Flour always sells. Maybe we go $5 on the sugar. We have premium tea. We're gonna go $12 for tea. Oh, no, 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 that was a coffee. $12 for coffee and then maybe like $7 for tea. Because black tea is, is not cheap. We can't be too stingy about that. I'm pretty sure $4.50 for bread is a fair price. I'm, I'm giving fair prices because I have to make a profit. Profit is still a thing that, that I have to do. Bottle water for $3? Yes, we're raising the market price because... <sighs> it's a harsh world out there. All right, we're open for business, I guess. Hello, welcome to the welcome to Walmart. Make sure we're making sure that you never escape until you buy. What do you mean coffee's too expensive? If you have the money to afford coffee, it shouldn't be expensive. <laughs> the cheese is too expensive. You're really setting the bar very, very low for me. I'm not gonna deal with you until my prices are set properly. God, four dollars for cheese. You're getting it at a discount. Sir, do you want to go back and purchase the stuff again? I've changed the prices. We've moved on. All right, two boxes of sugar. Thank you for your... Thank you for your... Thank you for your input. Buy my things. Don't complain about prices, please, because I have to earn money. Ah, yes. Th this looks like a shop. Uh... This looks like a shop. <laughs> this looks like a great purchase, sir. Thank you for your patronage. Thank you for... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for shopping <laughs> at Walmart. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. Sugar and coffee. That is a very hefty investment on morning coffee, but... To each their own. Make sure you get your cup of joe. Wait, wait, is it... Oh, uh, God. Is, is that coffee or is that... A cup of joe is coffee, right? Oh, man. And our coffee inventory went fast. Maybe maybe we get coffee to be safe. Hi, hold on, sorry. Yes, hello, hello, hello. Thank you for shopping. Hello, hello, thank you, thank you. We're speedrunning this. We're uh, got to restock some stuff. A second here, thank you. Ah, oh, great purchase. Awesome purchase. Nice to have you... I'm just gonna vault over my counter here for a second. We're hi, sorry, I'm in the way. Uh, coffee, coffee. Gonna gonna restock the pasta so we can throw this box away. Sorry, excuse me. Running an establishment here. I'm trying my best. Uh, g give me a second. Hold, 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 hold. I'm out of eggs. Oh no, what a nightmare. Hold on. Wait. Give me, give me one, one moment, please. Uh. F -f flower great great thank you thank you eggs great a dollar thank you thank you two bottles of water and two egg cartons 16 dollars thank you thank you excuse me gotta refill the eggs refill the eggs refill the milk is too expensive i just lowered the price 375 is my bottom line no not 3750 nobody's gonna buy three uh, yeah uh-huh Two bottles of water. Thank you, sir, for your kind purchase. Uh, cereal and bread. Thank, thank you. Just be running through this. We gotta get making bank. We gotta pay off those loans. We gotta remember what we're fighting for. What are we fighting for? Eight pack of eggs is too expensive for you. Eggs are five dollars for eight eggs, sir. That is a steal. You know much how much an egg costs you at a restaurant? More than a dollar. You can take this change. And you go try and find yourself a carton of eggs. I have a storage unit that I don't have access to? Hi, hi. Thank you for your purchases. Here's your change. Goodbye. Uh, hello. Hi. Yeah. Uh, unrelenting job, isn't it? 
Uh, yeah. Uh, eggs, money. $40 flat, there you go. Cereal and oil. Credit card, 23. Man, this job is really exhausting. Oh, man. Minus 222? I need to talk to the manager. I need to speak with my manager. I forget, I'm the manager. I... Oh, we got a bit of an upgrade. Hey! Also, when, when do I get this storage unit? I'm broke. I have no money. I can change the store name. <laughs> what if? Now hear me out. If we change the name to something more unique, it'll be appealing from the street. If we get curb appeal on our supermarket, people will walk in here. We have to have a specialized name. There has to be a unique name. We have to have the curb appeal. People will go to your store if you have curb appeal. That's why logos are a thing. That's why uh, marketing is a thing. It, it, this is the best marketing strategy. We're gonna go for modern. We're going for a modern look. We're going for the modern style here. Why did the, why did the letters shrink like that? I don't think that was... That looks uglier than what it was before. I have $100 to work with here. Let's spend wisely, okay? The milks aren't going off the shelf. We're gonna have to lower these down to $3. Eggs have been flying off the shelf, but I'm feeling generous. Eggs are gonna go for $4.50. Uh, we have no cheese, no water. Maybe restock on bread and oil, pasta. Bread, oil, pasta. That's all we'll do for now. I think we're good, okay. We have $30 left in the bank account and nothing to lose other than maybe going into bankruptcy, but we're not going to worry about that. There's still hope. So the walk-in strategy wasn't quite the strategy. I think we made our customers walk too far and then they were too tired by the time they got to the back of the store. So I think what we're going to do this time, we're going to stock everything in front of the store, but instead of showing them what we sell, we're gonna make it a big mystery from the outside, right? When you look from the outside, you'll be like, oh, JG Woomart, I wonder what they sell. I can't tell what they sell, so they have to walk through the door to figure it out. And so we'll make their lives a little bit more convenient by putting everything within the vicinity of each other so that we can streamline their experience, right? They only need to get stuff here, turn around, get stuff here. Go to the checkout counter, maybe grab their produce of the stuff from the freezer before they check out. They don't even need to get to the back side of the store. Because we don't have enough money to afford anything else than what we have. <laughs> I think this is fine. Alright, here we go. Day, however many, what, whatever day we're on. The JG Woomart, the rebranded JG Woomart cost me $250 to change this. It has now opened, please. Everyone, come... Come buy stuff. Ma'am, can you, are, do you need groceries? Are you in need of stuff in your day-to-day -day life? Well, well, come down to, come down to the JG Woo Mart and, and maybe you could find some of that stuff, you know? No? All right, you have yourself a nice day. Hello, good sir, good morning, good morning to you. Get, get, get groceries. Ah, hello, good morning, sir. Pasta for your morning grocery run. I see, I see, I see. Thank you for shopping at the rebranded JG Woo Mart. That is a hefty purchase. Thank you. This is also a hefty purchase. My goodness, thank you. Thank you for your patronage. Bit of a slow morning, huh? Oh, sorry. Hello, sorry. Uh, it go hello. Uh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's a little hot to be wearing a sweater out on this fine day, isn't it, huh? Must, must, must be getting chilly out there. How do people not get tired of doing this every day? I, oh man, ah, oh, hello. Thank you. Goodbye. You know, we should, we, we should invest in a self-checkout system so that I can go manage other parts of the store. You know, like maybe a little bit of fundraising, a little bit of money gathering. Because we're not making much of a profit, if I'm being entirely honest. Cooking pasta tonight, huh? Have a wonderful... Uh, yeah. Cheese? Cheese. 
Don't forget to smile. <sighs> Cheese. Hey, good evening. How are you? Did you find everything okay? I think I... Okay. Wow. Wow. What a... What a big purchase tonight. What's for, what's the occasion? You know, your your two boxes of everything. I'm not going to question it. I'll, I'll see you around next time. See you tomorrow. Ah, yes. Last customer of the night before we close out. Taking everything off the shelves. Everything's off. Everything, everything's leaving. Everything's kind of gone. We're, we're, we're losing money. I would really appreciate everything and anything that you purchase. 15. 25. Couldn't find the flower. Oh, God. Okay, we gotta close out the night before we, we, uh, yes, uh-huh. Oh, -ho -ho! making a big profit. We're, we're making a comeback. We're slowly making a comeback. I think what we have going on so far is pretty okay. What if? What, what if we did something like like Central Market, right? We're, we're gonna turn our shelves into a maze. We're gonna buy an extra shelf. We're gonna make our market a little bit of a maze here, right? We're, go we're gonna have it so that um, when you first enter the establishment, you're gonna be blocked off. And that's okay. Yeah, they're gonna be barred from the entrance, right? They're gonna have to go go through this elaborate maze to get to the cashier check before they can check out. And so that way, they're once they come into the store, they're stuck here. They can't leave until after they have purchased everything, and then they can like s sneak their way around to the other side. They are barred from entry. This is a good strategy, I promise, I promise. We're gonna buy a couple extra shelves here. Possibly another fridge. What if we buy a corner shelf? We're gonna start them off with the corner shelf, right? They're gonna look at the corner shelf first. They have to come through the corner. Well, no, hang on, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. I have, I have, I have great idea. We're gonna streamline their, streamline their experience, right? They're gonna go through the shop. They're gonna reach this corner here and they're gonna be like, oh no, where do I have to go? I have to go right. And so we're gonna make them continue to go right as they purchase things from the fridge, from the fridge units that we have. Yeah? Yeah? And we're gonna have another fridge unit here in a second? Yeah? Bam! Right here. And where does all of this lead to? It leads right to the cashier. That I have no space for. Hang on. Everybody's boxed in tight clothes here, and everything else back here? Storage. Everything else? They can't get back here, only I can get back here, because clearly I, I can only- I'm the only one that fits. I can't afford tea and coffee, not now. We need, to, we need to work with the new setup first, and make sure that this works. We can streamline their experience with the cheaper goods, and then we can entice them to buy the more expensive ones later. Here's the vision, right? When you come to JG Woo Mart, it's it's like walking through a Whole Foods or a Central Market, right? You, it, it's like you have to streamline the experience, but once you get in the store, you can't get out because there's it's like a maze, right? So when you first enter, you can either go straight to the cashier, which you can't because there are going to be customers leaving. So you immediately have to hit hit a left, right? <laughs> it's like like an IKEA. It's like an IKEA, right? You hit a hard left, you buy the stuff here, you turn over here, you see the corner shelf, we're probably gonna try and stock it here, but then once you reach the corner shelf, you're like, oh no, where do I go? You gotta turn right. When you look right, you see that you have pro you, you've got your produce on, on the left side, you've got your carbs on the right side. After you purchase all of this, you gotta wait in this really long line that's probably gonna curve all the way to the entrance. We're gonna streamline the experience. <laughs> The entire corner shelf is just bread. You know how you go down the bread aisle and there are like all these different kinds of bread? Instead of that, we're gonna have all of the same kind of bread, but we're just gonna spread it out so it looks like we have different kinds of bread. Now you, now you get to witness the vision happen in real time. This is where you actually get to see the- I forgot to buy bottled water. We need bottled water. Do I have enough money for water? See, watch this. They immediately take a hard left. They have to make a U-turn. They just turn the entire circle. And guess what? If you forget something, you gotta walk back. But you can't because there are gonna be other customers coming in. See, this guy's lucky. He was the first customer. He still had a way to go back. He had a way to turn around. Hello, hello. I hope you found everything all right. 30, 50. 
Have a nice day. See, everyone just goes in this one big circle. It's the perfect experience. Wow, that is quite quite a lot of groceries you got there, sir. Thank you. Thank you for... Thank you for your purchase. We need water. I gotta go get the water. We need water. Uh, give me a second, ma'am. I gotta restock on our water here. Excuse me. Sorry. Yes. Hello. Thank you. Hi. Uh, no change. Thank you. Wow. What, what a... What a great purchase. Thank you for your patronage. All right, hold on. The line, the line's getting kind of long. Thank you. Hello. Yes. Hi. Uh, sorry. I'm trying to... We don't have the budget for employees yet, so I'm kind of the only one here. The checkouts are full. Yeah, give me a second. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. We're doing our best. Uh, uh, 50, 50 cents. Thank you. Uh, $14. $14. We're speed running. We need all the customers we can get, all the inventory we can sell. It's got it's all got to go. Are we out of coffee again? There's no way. Couldn't find cheese. Are we out of cheese too? Man, I didn't think this through. All right, all right, check out, check out, check out. Hello. Thank you. $5 say no more. Great purchase. Great buy. 42.75. Thank you. Thank you. The cheese is too expensive. We can't all be winners out here, okay? Sorry, can't turn on the lights. Kind of busy. Uh, cash? Cash. 25 cents? Yes, thank you. Couldn't find the oil. We're out of oil? Oh, God. Ah, yes. Final customer of the night. Thank you for your patience and, and waiting for... Yeah. Oh, hello. Yes, thank you. I'm not falling asleep on the job. Yes, uh-huh. Uh, $38. Maybe, maybe, no, 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 maybe we should say we're closed. Maybe, maybe we're closed. Maybe we're running out of inventory. Take, take the bread, please. No coffee. All right, now we're closed. We're closed for real now. <laughs> oh, we still lost money. To be fair, I bought more furniture and shelving, so... I guess that's where the majority of my profit went today. Everything's cheaper today, wow. Maybe we just focus on inventory today, there's not much I can do. <laughs> we gotta pay off the loan, we gotta do other stuff. I'm losing money. I don't know how to run a store. <laughs> also, I really gotta re- I, I gotta redo this. <laughs> okay, we're actually gonna put the corner shelf. We're gonna put the corner shelf in the corner. We're gonna do everything like a normal store. <laughs> All right, what if, what if, what if, what if we have an open floor? What, what if the supermarket is a place for people to socialize, right? This is a place of socialization. You're not here to get your groceries done. You're here to meet people. Now that we've officially opened up the floor, right? The supermarket has now become a socializing place, right? You have all of this floor space to socialize, right? Not only are you here to buy groceries, what if you accidentally bump into someone at the corner shelf here? Like, oh, Oops, sorry, I, I didn't mean- I didn't mean it, I, I just wanted to reach over and grab the bread here. And you know, suddenly you kick up a really nice conversation with this random stranger in my supermarket because we have the open space to do so, right? You guys both grab your bread, you're walking towards the cashier, and you have this really nice conversation within this like three foot span from the bread corner to the- uh, to the cashier and, you know, you, you kick off the conversation and somehow you realize you're like old elementary school classmates and then you know as as i'm i'm ringing you up with with your cash or your credit you you guys continue this really nice conversation of of like how you miss the good old days how how um how how, how you hate your job and how you wish for simpler times and and you know how inflation is causing all the prices to go up as you give me a death glare as the cashier of the supermarket even though i'm not in charge of the prices even though i'm also the manager of the 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 store maybe maybe somebody will see the vision <laughs> what do i need how much money do i have to work with here hang on i gotta buy eggs we need water and cheese <coughs> oh my god Man, I swear, this UPS worker needs to get fired. They didn't stack my boxes properly. What if my eggs cracked? Who's gonna be in charge of my produce if the eggs cracked? We we need more accountability in, in the delivery services that people are providing. We need... We need... We need justice. We need safely putting down boxes in the training videos for the, the new hires so that we don't... 
ruin our inventory. We're open for business. The JG Wu March is now open for... How, how many days have we been open? Come one, come all. We serve... We serve food. We have stuff. Come, come buy stuff. You look like the kind of man who wants to buy stuff. Yeah, 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 there we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ma'am, ma'am, are you are you in need of anything? Do you need produce? Products? No, but that good sir, this good sir has good taste. Ah, eggs and water. Great buy, 1175. Great purchase. Why is my numpad not working? 1175. Nope, no, that is not. Your total is 1175. Uh, three dollars. Thank you. Thank you for your purchase. Sugar and tea. Great combo. Thank you. Thank you for your... Thank you. I, I, I need, I need PTO. I, I need to ask for PTO. Unfortunately, I'm the manager, so I can't ask for PTO. Hello, hello. Thank you. Thank you for buying. Thank you for buying things at Walmart. We'll, we'll, we'll serve you next time. Hi, did you find everything you need? Uh... We have a lot of stuff on the shelves. Uh, you sure you don't want to take another look at it, at what you want or need? Thank you. Just cheese? I'm sorry, sir. You're handing me a credit card. You walked into the market today. And you only thought about buying a pack of cheese. Nothing else? I mean, I'm sure... Do you live across the street? Is this just like a convenience buy? I know we're called convenience stores for a reason, but like... Just cheese? You know, don't question it. The customer's always right. The customer's always right. Uh, yes, uh, yes, 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 yes. It's you two again. It's the, the men in black. I can wholeheartedly reassure you. There are no extraterrestrials or aliens at this establishment. Maybe, maybe down the street. There was another market down the street. I, I, I swear. I saw an extraterrestrial down the street. Maybe, maybe you should go check that out. A after you purchase this. I... Uh, yes, thank you, thank you. And, and to the associate person. Wow, that, that... You're a lot better than your boss. Thank you. Thank you for the big purchase. Wow. Wow, hope, hope to see you again soon. <laughs> The cheese is not expensive, okay? I've lowered the price to as low as I possibly could, all right? I need to make a profit here, ma'am. If you want to buy your cheese somewhere else, feel free to do so. See, you can buy two cartons of milk. You can take the milk and then make your own cheese, right? Our milk is cheaper than the cheese, so if you just buy an extra carton of milk, maybe you can make your own cheese. Maybe, maybe that's what you were thinking. That's why you bought two cartons of milk. See, I like this mindset. This is why, I, this is why I like you. This is a good purchase, good customer. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna quickly lower the prices because it's evening now. Maybe people will come in if I lower my prices now. Eggs were fine. Cheese was somehow too expensive. Three twenty-five is a steal if you ask me. Oil was too expensive. We'll make it a flat four dollars for you. How about that? Ah, hello. Oh, big purchase, huge even. I thought it would be a little bit more than thirty-two dollars, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Is my shift over? Are we closed for the day? Look at that, hundred sixty dollars in profit. Business is booming. <laughs> oh, I need another job. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this game here. I thoroughly enjoyed this experience. I genuinely have a lot of respect for people who do a lot of jobs in retail, in, in grocery stores, people who do uh, the... People who work as cashiers, people who do restock. This is exhausting, and this is a game. <laughs> Real life is not a game. <laughs> if you would like to see me play more of this, let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, thank you all for being here, and I'll see you all in the next video. <laughs> now, what a weak YouTube outro. I don't do YouTube outros. <laughs>